first off, we're going to do the ricotta cheese. And we've got a liter of milk. And it's been heating up just slowly. It's just, just below the simmer point. So you're going to start to see a small skin forming on the top of the milk. And a, just a little bit of steam. There's no bubbles. It's not actually going to come to a boil yet or anything. We don't need that to happen. We're going to turn this into cheese. So we'll start with a half a lemon. And we'll squeeze that lemon juice into that hot milk. And you should start to see the reaction with the acid in the milk, and it's going to start to curdle. So you'll see little bits of, sort of like when you put milk or cream into coffee, and then you find out the milk was bad, but you'll start to see little flecks of white. And that means that we're starting to make cheese. So once we have the first half lemon in, and make sure you get all that juice out, and what I did is I just rolled that lemon a, a bit first to soften it so I can get more juice. You can also just pop it into a microwave for a few seconds. Warm it up and you'll get more juice that way. So I'm going to now just go with a, a quarter of a lemon. So just put part of that juice in. You could also use vinegar or lime juice. You see now we're starting to get a lot more chunks. The milk started to look a lot chunkier. So now we're getting very, very close to ricotta cheese. It's important though we keep the temperature down. I don't want this to boil because that will tighten up all those curds and they'll squeeze out the liquid, they'll squeeze out the whey and it won't taste, it'll taste sort of like sawdust rather than nice and creamy cheese. So this is looking pretty good but we are going to need the last half lemon. And this is going to depend on the size of your lemon. And for one liter, you can see that we're putting in the juice of an average sized lemon. And that will be a, about 25 to 30 mils if you're using uh, bottled lemon juice. Now we're going to let this heat slowly and then we'll be able to take and strain it through cheesecloth in a few minutes. You should see lots of curds and some yellowish liquid. That's the way. And if you have a coffee filter, it's a good idea to line a sieve with a coffee filter and then you can just pour this through. Let it sit and repeat and then you'll have some really nice ricotta cheese. That's what's called sweet ricotta because we haven't salted it and there's nothing else really in it at that point. We're going to turn that into a filling. So we'll take this, we'll let it strain, and the longer we let it strain, the creamier and drier it gets. The solids are the curds, the white bits are the curds, and the yellow liquid is the whey. We don't have a use for the whey in this recipe, but you can use it if you're making bread or if you're making a cream soup, you can use the whey instead of water or stock. So this is holding its shape pretty well now. We can just dump that out and we have a really nice creamy ricotta cheese. And there was just so much in there, I used it in two smaller sieves. And I use a coffee filter to strain it just to keep as much curd as possible. If I didn't use a coffee filter, a lot of the curd would go through into the whey.